What's up everyone, I'm GG Pinball. On this week's episode of Virtual Pinball News of the Week, we've got some new submissions to the Builder's Corner, we've got your tip of the week, and we've got a bunch of tables that came out. Stick around. Little bit of pinball sadness in this week. The Pinball Museum in Manning, California is shutting down and auctioning off their collection. The Pinball Museum in Manning not only did pinball, it did arcade, a total of 1,700 machines. Pretty much any pinball machine that you could have ever wanted to play was at this place. Due to the pandemic, they just couldn't financially keep together. People are saying the collection is somewhere around the realms of $7 million. And this was privately owned, so this was crazy. If you live in Manning, this might be a great opportunity to pick up some real machines at a decent price, especially with the prices of what actual pinball has been. Still sad to see such a great collection disappear. For your tip of the week this week, something new that I personally got into, some people probably have already been in it, some may not, they might not even know about it, that is color ROMs. Having a V-Pin is great. Being able to make it your own, also great. The DMD is a big part of that. I mean, not only is it your score, a lot of games have DMDs where you are playing mini games on the DMDs and they give instructions as you're playing the game. So making it look even better, Awesome. This week I tried the Tales from the Crypt color DMD. This thing is beautiful and really nails those colors. You can see here the difference between just a solid color and what the Tales from the Crypt colored one can do. There's lots of DMDs like this. I'll have the link for the Tales from the Crypt one down below. You can check out more as you go along. To change the color on your DMDs and VPX, it's pretty simple. You hit F1, you can go down there, you could select one color, and that will change the whole color of your DMD so you don't just have it orange, and it will do that automatically for you for different levels. For full color DMDs, there's a little bit more to it. You have to download some files. You're gonna put them in your alt color folder, Directions down below in the description. And then when you go back and open up your table, when you click F1, you gotta make sure to hit that full color mode. Definitely something you should check out. Again, it enhances and customizes the table to what you want it to be. On this week's Builder's Corner, first we're gonna start with Ryan from The Collector's Kid. Ryan has his own channel, has a huge Doctor Who collection. Also, um, Ryan's been working on his own V-Pin, a Judge Dredd theme. It's pretty awesome. Definitely take a look, video link down below. The next submission to Builder's Corner is from Bob. Bob unfortunately had fallen victim to the false advertisement from some foreign makers. Bob was a little bit dissatisfied to say the least about the cabinet that he got, but that didn't stop him from totally doing something cool with this. Bob's ripped out a lot of the guts and started adding his own thing. The V-Pin bug has bitten Bob hard as he's given his machine a total conversion to get right where he wants to. Well, at least he says, but then he also says that he wants to keep on adding stuff. And again, that's the VPN bug. That's what happens to all of us, right? I feel comfortable until the next thing that I want to add to it. It's just what happens. Awesome job, guys. Thanks for submissions. If you want to submit to the program, make sure you hit me up at my email, ggpinball at gmail.com, or hit me up on the forums. And now for your VPX releases of the week. Team Gold Chico has released the Williams 1983 Firepower 2. Obviously, the sequel to Firepower. This one's got a different play feel from the original. Keeps a lot of the same sounds, but uh, I think it's a much more playable feel than the original. Board has done a major update over like two years or so to the Williams 1984 Space Shuttle. He's added new sounds in there, new effects. Definitely something cool to check out. Space Shuttle is a fantastic table. Borg Dog has uploaded his version of the Gottlieb 1980 timeline. This, again, not a new table, but back on the market. This is a table that was originally on V Pinball before it crashed, and now Borg has uploaded it so this way people can access it once again. Buffalo Pinbro has released an original Blaze and the Monster Machines. We're going with a kid theme on here. They designed this for his kids. This is something cool to get your kids involved. And I'm a big fan of this. This is like I said last week, talking about the Zen Pinball Party. They really concentrated on that younger audience because they want to introduce kids in there. And while some kids might think that pinball is kind of weird or they're not used to it, catch them with the theme. This is no exception. It's got a really cool feature too to help your kids. If you use the right Magnus save, save a block will come up making it a lot more kid friendly. This is also a 10.7 table, so make sure you're using 10.7 if you're playing Blaze. Loserman76 has put out the Williams 1975 Black Gold. 
interesting fact with this table there was only like somewhere between 40 and 50 of them made this was a canceled table it's nice to have it preserved even for archival sakes if anything Papa Smurf himself, J.P. Salas, has released Torpedo and Underwater. These are the same tables released under two different manufacturer names. It's the same one, just one overseas and one not. It, one version, Torpedo, is a single-player version, and the other version being Underwater is your four-player version. Now, the original coming at you, One Man Project has released Wolfenstein 3D 30th Anniversary. Oh my god, it's been 30 years since Wolfenstein came out. Ah, I'm old. This is a pretty cool one. It uses graphics from the actual Wolfenstein game. If you played it as a kid, it's gonna bring you down memory lane. For Mods of the Week, WPilot has put out his version of Mystery Science Theater 3000. This is a mod of JP's Table Polar Explorer. This is a total remake visually, and he's added in his own sounds straight out of the show. Definitely something cool to check out. Starline mod this week is the Data East from the 90s Batman. He's come out with about five different colors that you could change the table. Definitely something worth taking a look at if you're a big Data East fan. Like I am. Do you have a cabinet? Do you like to play? Do you want to play me? I want to play you so you can see exactly how bad I really am. That's right. On Facebook, I am part of the Elite Virtual Weekly Pinball Challenge. Definitely check the group out, link down below. We got three tables we play a week, one weekly, one in the middle of the week for older school tables, and we've got the Weekend Warriors. I try to play all of them. I hope to see you there because let's go. I want to play some pinball against somebody that's totally going to wreck me, which is like everybody. Well, that about wraps it up this week. If you found this video useful and you liked it, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. If you have any questions or you want to submit to the Builder's Corner, make sure you hit me up at my email, ggpinball at gmail.com. I'm GG Pinball, and this has been your virtual pinball news of the week. Later!